Hello, hello, welcome back to Gold Rush. I'm Hitman82, and today we've got big things happening today. So the first thing I need to do is fix this thing. This wash, uh, what's this thing called? The shaker, uh, no, it's gonna say shaker. Uh, wave table, oh my gosh, what did I forget? Ooh, that's loud. Uh. All right, so we're gonna fix this up. I don't know if I'd shown this on screen before, so I want to make sure I showed that. Now, um, we've got big things happening today. Um, I think we're going to purchase a, a drill today. So, yeah, we got so uh, we, we're gonna need some cash for that. Uh, we've got I could probably sell the gold cut now. Hmm, I think I will, and then we can just come back and and uh, actually no, if I sell this, I can probably pay off the loan. That's what we'll do. Okay, so let me see here. I'm gonna quickly jot down. I keep track of the gold, so I'm writing down. How much gold we've got now, which is 121.8 ounces. I don't round it, I just uh, go with the number. Alright, so let's, oops, we got to start this stuff up. Hmm, you've seen me do this before. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice already. We've, uh, we're, we've had a heat wave here, uh, where I'm in British Columbia. It's been in the mid-30s Celsius, that's about 90-something Fahrenheit. And it's finally broken today. Oh, it's so nice. Um... So anyway, it's a low pressure moving in, so I'm all stuffed up and, and all growly first thing in the morning. So anyway, all right, I'll uh, I'll pause here. I'm gonna run this goal through and give you the numbers at the end. So I shall do that. There's the first bunch done. So 139.8 now. So we got about 18 ounces. Now I'll run the next bunch through. Okay, now I've finished uh, refining the rest of that. And we ended up with 20.6 that time. So we got, um, in the last four clean outs, uh 22.8 ounces, and then 19.5, and, and then 18, and then 20.6. So we're getting, you know, around 20 ounces. Eh. I, I've had a clean out that was 40 ounces. So, uh, yeah, this is why I've been thinking about getting the, the mining drill for a little bit. Just because, I mean, if we can, for the time spent, get twice as much gold, why wouldn't we do that? I mean, if it costs an extra hundred and, well, let me see. If I'll probably keep the mine girl if, instead of um, buying it and then using it here and then selling it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Probably we'll keep it in storage, but we'll see. Okay, and I'm just loading up the magnetite here because I'm going to make a trip to town to buy, uh, well, I need to sell gold. And then buy the mining drill. So I'll skip the trip to town, and uh, I will see you. We'll see, actually, we're only going as far as the factory. We'll just drive over there. So I'm not going to skip it. So ha! So we're only going to the factory, which is you can almost see from here. Well, if I don't blow a tire on the way there. Oh, I forgot to. I was going to order some more fuel. I'll be back in time today to do so down to about 30% left in the fuel tank. So I'll, uh, I'll do that on screen. If I remember, I'll order some fuel on screen when we get back. Except they'll be all excited about the mining drill and forget about it, but hey. Well, I'll have to fuel it up, so that'll make me remember. Okay, so our trailer is still sitting here. This is good. Um, and it shouldn't have anything in it. Okay, let's switch back here this, dump it in, 50%, 100%, so that should be about $3,000 there, hopefully, we shall see, so we should end up with 149000 yep, alright, we're good, we're good, so we'll sell the rest of these, boy, that took a while to collect these, I get about mm, 30, 35%, of a, a bucket each time, uh, like each cleanout. So three cleanouts just to get one bucket, six cleanouts to fill two buckets, which would fill that trailer. So yeah, <laughs> whoops, I almost dumped that in there. That would have been bad. So yeah, you have to do six cleanouts to make that th uh, three thousand dollars. Yeah, that's not so great. Uh, whoops lose track of what I'm doing here. It's morning. I'm not a morning person. I'm sure you guys have figured that out by now. OK, 
Okay, there we go. All right, I'll pause for the remainder of the trip. So uh, right now I'm going to um, to go and sell the or refine the gold and then sell it, and then we'll uh, head over and purchase the uh, the mining drill. I'll refine the gold. I think I'm, I'm going to save about mm, maybe 20 ounces to cover the the rent. Yeah, that'll do. So 127.6 ounce bar. So we lost about 13 ounces in the the uh, refining process. And we'll head over to the bank and sell that. So as you can see, by the, my tire is now in the back of the truck. That's because that's the one that blew on the way over here, which I don't think it's avoidable, really, um, unless some way of cheating, like hitting save every ten seconds or something crazy like that. Anyway, it it uh it popped as soon as it was doing a load screen, so I don't know if that has any if it checks then or what happened. Anyway, so I had to replace a wheel, and I wasn't driving very quickly, so it's not like I could avoid it. All right, um, we'll sell this. What's your stock price? Ooh, 1222. That sounds good. Boom. 300,000. So, um, I could pay back the loan, but then I don't, you know what, it's better that we um, keep the loan for now and we'll go and, because um, I could actually take out a bigger loan now, but that's not going to do us much good. So, we're going to head over to, um, to purchase the, the drill now. Uh, if I'd have to pay off the loan and then take out a new loan if I wanted to to get, because uh, I couldn't purchase this mining drill and the upgrade to, on the parcel, and have still have enough money to get the drill. So let's uh, let's see. This thing is two hundred and four thousand dollars. Boom. And are you ready? Down a hundred thousand now. So to transport it, I need to see it says upgrade plus one, so we have to do that. There's another fifty thousand. All right, so now we can and move it. So that's another fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, so we now have one back of the parcel, and as you can see, we have fifty-two thousand. So we could not have paid off that eighty thousand dollar loan and still had enough money. I would have to take another loan and and then probably end up paying more interest. So I'll just leave it as it is for now. I mean, could always go and sell the rest of the the gold that got on me, and then we go negative. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, almost forgot. Gotta go get parts for that drill because I'm gonna be breaking a drill or a drill bit or two. Hmm. I forget what the price of them is. Like. Is it like ten thousand dollars or something for the drill bit? Yeesh. Well, I think it's safe to assume I'll break two. But at ten thousand bucks a piece, I may only buy the one and then come back for it if I need it. All right. Well, let's have a look. I think it's right inside the door here. Um, and I might need some hydraulic hoses too. I haven't. I can't remember. I should have checked before I left. Um, I think I just looked at it, didn't I? Yeah, they're... Oh, they're only 2000 bucks. Why did I think they were 10000 I don't know. Anyway, we bought two of them. Uh, we'll grab a few more hoses, because I just can't remember if I have enough right now, but there's something that's... They're consumable constantly, so... Uh, we'll buy four of those. And I think that'll do it. Yeah, alright, so let's bring that through. Another 5700 bucks gone. I tell you, the parts, the parts just kill you. Whoops, uh, I need to buy another wheel as well because I just used one. So that's another thousand bucks. My gosh, they just nickel and dime you to pieces. Everybody's making money off the gold miners. Alright, so let's order that. Load all that stuff in the back of the truck. If we can, I'm pretty sure it'll fit. Um, whoa. Uh oh. I'll try and get that out without flipping the truck or something crazy. Throw these in. I should get a couple more buckets. I actually, uh, I can do two clean outs as long as I don't have much. 
uh, and then and then fill the wash plan a third time, unless I I use a lot of the buckets for the magnetite as you saw there. Whoops. Oh my gosh, seriously? Seriously? Come on, Code Horizon, what are you doing here? <sighs> Fix your physics. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Just going to load up the truck, and I hope this view isn't flashing all over the place making you crazy. Alright, there we go. I wish there's a place here to sell stuff. I have to haul my broken parts all Oh my gosh. <sighs> <laughs> this sticking out to the side will hit something. There we go. Yeah, now the hose is sticking out. Oh well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I could go get fuel, but I'll uh, I'll just fill up back of the parcel from the big tank. I also f um the mobile uh, fuel tank. I half filled that up. So um, every ten percent of it uses one percent out of that big big fuel tank. Okay, I think. Have I got everything? Yeah. I know I forgot something. I always do. Oh well. Okay, I know what I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting to pause. So I'll see you back at the ranch. There's all the stuff put away. We're back at the parcel. And are you ready? You ready to get in this thing? Let's have a look at it first. Or this big. I wish it had a dozer blade on it. Oh, that would be so great. To have a dozer blade on this, then you could use it as a bulldozer as well as a drill. And then you wouldn't need that other bulldozer. Oh, that'd be so great. Well, instead we got a grate, which isn't so great. And that's great. What am I talking about now? I have no idea. So this is the drill. You see the drill part here. So this track pushes it into the ground. Well, you'll see it in action. So the rest of this episode is going to be drill, drill, baby, drill. Alright, so let's head over and get some fuel. Now it's going to keep telling me, oh, you got to put the parking brake on. It's because when I'm steering, I'm not 100% precise steering on my gamepad. So, um, and the controls on it, I go side to side to turn, and then up and down to deploy the drill. So it's going to do that a lot. I could change the keys, but eh. It just beeps at me once in a while, doesn't really do anything, so I'll leave it. Alright, so let's get some fuel first thing. And where's the fuel on this thing? Over on this side. Oh, is it going to reach? Yeah, it reaches. Pull the hose through the cab, that's okay. It's brand new, got to make it smell like diesel. Actually, this doesn't look brand new, does it? Yeah, Hoffman's will probably already beat the crap out of it. No, it's still running. They didn't use it. <laughs> All right, we're heading over to. Uh, you can see. Uh, you can see the see the yellow numbers ahead. So if you haven't seen the the drill before, this is going to be neat for you. So I'm uh, not going to drill the the little squares on the edges. Now, where the drill goes in is where it takes the core sample. So I try to hit the middle of the square, but I could drill like 20 holes in this square and get slightly different readings on each. But I only want an average, so I'm just doing the middle of each one, approximately. So you have to set your brake before you drill, for obvious reasons. So if you don't, you're going to break your drill. If you don't break to drill, ha ha ha. Oh my. Early morning jokes. Lucky you. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll keep going along here. I'll, I'll do a few of these and then I'll show you the map and you can see uh, what's what's happening. And then it's a question of going around and doing this about 500 times all the way around the parcel. And I, 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 I kid you not, it's going to be about 500 squares, I think. It, they're numbered, so we'll be able to tell. Yes, I know to set the handbrake. Oh my gosh. You can just tell me the once, you know. Now, what you have to be careful, the reason I said I'm not going to drill out the edges, that's because you can hit the bedrock underneath and that damages your your drill bit. And at almost $3,000 a piece, I do not want to damage the drill bit. So what we're doing is taking core samples. Whoops. 
we go. We're taking core samples to get some idea of what kind of gold yield we're going to see, as well as the depth of it. So I'll, um, I think I'll just kind of drill this little corner and keep you in suspense. Keep me in suspense. I wonder if there's any gold here. So my understanding is, on this claim, there should be gold in most of these squares. Um, I don't know about the next claim. I forget what it was even called. Um, not Raven, and it's not Pine Valley, it's um, Riverside or something? River something. Anyway, uh, I don't know about that one, but I know for sure Pine Valley and Raven Claw or whatever it was. I can't remember the names of them. I'll just look at the map and I get to find out. Anyway, the, uh, those ones, there are plenty of squares that have no gold at all in them, really. And uh, so, so there you kind of have to go around and and hunt for gold so the you need this machine for those other parcels so having said that um, I don't know when we're done here see once we're all done I don't really need this machine on this parcel anymore so I don't know if I should um, well obviously I'll want to stick it in storage um, whoops still trying to get that center but um, I could put it in storage or sell it and we'll get a hundred thousand dollars back and then when I need another one it'll cost another two hundred thousand so, um, yeah, I can defer that and take the money now. I think I'll stick it in storage, and then if I, I'm, you know, 100000 short from, from whatever, I can sell it then if I need to. Yeah, because, boy, I don't like losing $100,000. But you only really need this four times in the game. That's for assuming you get the four parcels. Because uh, other than the actual drilling you don't really need it beyond that I mean you could use it to see the squares and stuff but um, you can highlight specific squares from the map which I'm about to show you now because I know that you're probably by now you're like what's going on here man okay we'll see <laughs> um, alright so we'll bring the map up and we want to go to the gold map and what parcel world okay so here's where we've been drilling Let's see here's the parcel numbers so you can actually toggle this. So for instance, uh, let's say number 120, and then we toggle it. All right. Now I'll show you this again here in a moment. Um, does that not? Yeah. See, it lights it up. So even if you didn't have the drill here to show you the squares, you can you can highlight squares. That's pretty neat. Um. Okay. So looking back at the map again. The game's paused while I'm at the map, so I'm not burning fuel. Um, what's going on here? There we go. So if I look at, say, um, parcel, a square 120, uh, if you look over on the right here, you'll see me circling kind of what I'm talking about. So a square 120, um, this is the first hole I dug? I guess so. It tells you the drill number. Uh, that'll just go up, so you'll know by the end how many I've taken, how many drills I've done. Uh, the time, the day, total gold in that square. Um, I don't know what rich spot part means. The drilling depth, so the, the, the dirt depth is 5.3 uh, meters. So in that 5.3 meters, you can see this is how the gold is laid out. And as you can see, it's fairly uniform. There's not much of a difference here. So we'll want to take that whole square then, because that's 200 ounces. Now we're not going to get 200 ounces. What we're going to get is um, about 20% of that. So uh, what's that? 40 ounces if I could fit that whole square in the wash plan. But uh, now, when we look at, I um, thought there was a key here or something. Oh, okay, there, if you deselect the, the uh, square, you get the legend, the legend of the gold. So as you can see, these are yellow. These are, there's two higher uh, amounts of gold than that. But when you look at it, see, here's the dark yellow, the light yellow, but this is an average, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, there's the rest of your stuff. So uh, I'll, I'll keep drilling. I, I think we'll just kind of round this episode out with some more drilling, and then I'll do the rest of it off screen. How's that sound? Oh, um, we're going to have a look at how many squares there are. <laughs> so you can see I've just started here, and I've got all this inside the red. That's the dig site border. So I've got all that to do. What I'm interested in is this area, because this is 
that hump of dirt right there. So I wonder if there's any gold in. And what are these dark pits? Like maybe there'll be more gold in there. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But that's where that hump is. So I want to see how much gold is there because maybe it's it's a big pile of gold deposited there by a, a waterfall. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So whoops, I forgot to check. Now I need to figure out again where I was. Uh, okay. So uh, I did 94. So we'll go over to the next one here. So this thing slides around like crazy. It reminds me of Farm Sim 15 when it first came out. How uh, the tractors and everything were all slidey. Especially with, um, what was that mod called? Um, you're yelling it at me, but I can't hear you. The one that, uh, it's kind of a, not a realism mod, it was drive control. That's what it was. So that you'd have to put four-wheel drive on on the tractors and lock the diff lock and that sort of thing. Anyway, it was super slidey then. Hardly playable. Oh, well, they fixed that. What was this one? Number 93? No. Let's see if I can drill number 92 there. Probably won't be much in that one. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just impatient. Alright, there we go. Whoops. Too far. Overdid it, Holmes. Alright, there we go. So... Yeah, I don't think I'll do these tiles right in front of me because just the risk of breaking the drill is for $3,000 to test a little tiny bit of dirt is not worth it, in my opinion. If um, if Jason Squares have lots of pay dirt or like lots of gold, then I'll uh, I'll just go ahead and mine them anyway. Though I think um, you can see, wow, actually mine. Pretty close to that line there. I'll, I'll probably leave that section along there just for a roadway around the pit. That way if I'm digging, you know, further over in the parcel, I can still go around it. Okay, I'll try 67 here. Whoa! Don't fall in, as Doss always says. I don't think this is what she meant. Oh, well, that's kind of... Let's see if I can uh, maybe turn it this way. There we go. That's kind of over an open space there. I don't know if it would have drilled or not. I don't think I'll bother drilling these uh, this strip here where there's only a little tiny bit of it. Um, the ones that I left a little bit of. The mid-60s numbers here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Don't fall in. Okay, we'll start on 62 here and keep going. Be interesting to see how close I was if there was any gold around here. If I, Well, we won't be able to tell if I already mined out one that had decent gold, but we'll know if I'm getting close. What's this? All oh, the best gold will be right here and I didn't need the mining drill. That would figure. Okay, so I would mentioned before that... Well, we talked about it, some of us uh, discussed in the comments about what to do, and we decided on pur uh, purchasing this parcel before spending any other money, and then then I went and got a drill anyway. And yes, that bothers me because I went and I asked you guys, and I had a plan based on what you said, and then just after hours and hours and hours and hours of monotonous digging, I said, well, let's find where the gold is. So, so that's kind of where we ended up with that. And I think this may end up being the smarter move. Um, whether or not we're going to purchase Old Arnold at this point, hmm, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of gold here. It's just spread out everywhere, I think. I'll have to think some more on that. At some point, I want to get the Pine Valley. I honestly, I'd rather dig there than here, because the the gold is always greener on the other side. Oh wait, no, it's close. <laughs> Maybe Uncle Stewie will buy it for me. 
Oh, thanks, Dewey. You're going to buy it for me? Got that big ingot there in Scotland from that river, and then you went you sniped a whole bunch more, and you made a fortune. And decided, you know what? I'm going to help that hitman guy out and buy him a, a gold parcel. Um, let's see, we'll do 87 and 88 there. Boy, it's it's slow going, I'm aware of that. Uh, at least you don't have to sit here and do it all. <laughs> um, which, I, I say it like that, like it's a chore. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes I don't feel like doing it, but it's the only way we're going to progress. But most of the time, I'm, you know, sitting and watching shows, like I've been watching an Archer series again. I don't know why, just because I can, I guess. It doesn't cost me anything to watch it. Um, got a whole bunch of other mo movies from the library. They, uh, I can order DVDs and they, they mail them to me. Because I live on a little island, so. So I get my movies through the mail on DVDs. Whoops. I don't really, I haven't really been watching many movies. Just TV shows. It's just, uh, oh, and I've, I've watched this series, because uh, it's hilarious to, <laughs> to be digging away and then, and then watching a video of yourself digging away. It's so weird. <laughs> but but uh, then I'm not using bandwidth, because uh, I'm actually, I have to pay for my bandwidth once I hit a certain point. And uh, it's, it's not cheap, and I'm frugal. Okay, so... Let's see here. Oh, we'll keep going here, and, and then we'll surprise ourselves and see where the gold is. Uh, let's see. I'll head over to 110 here and just kind of work the line back this way. Or not. This thing is gutless when you... See, there's a little bit of dirt over the track right there on the front of the track. And it seems to see it bogs it right down. And it rocks a bit, and then you get clear of that. So now it's in the track there. There, now it's just no dirt in the track, and the thing just flies. Things no good in mud, I guess. Um, actually, I should have backed up for this one because I'm gonna have to keep. I'm gonna have to back in when I get further down. Yep, we go again. That's a pretty neat little system. The little conveyor belt. Those are all hydraulic hoses sticking up there. Stop beeping at me. I think there's a way to disable that, but the prompts, I think it is, or something like that. But I, I leave it on anyway, because otherwise I'll fire up the wash plant and forget about grates, or or I'll overfill the uh, the magnetizer or something dumb like that. So I leave the prompts on. But the only option you can turn on in hard mode. All right, I'm gonna try and drill the center of this even though it's uh, in real life you wouldn't drill it this way I don't think okay fine I'll just drill here close enough to the middle it's just a little more accurate if I'm drilling at the center of each tile because then it's more of an average over the square I could drill you know um, four times or five times well, you know, on a die, uh, on a die, you know, for dice, and you see the f the five, and it's kind of in a star pattern. I could do that on each on each tile to get much more precision. But oh my gosh, then I'm, it costs fuel and it costs drill bits. It's just no, we're not going to do that. Drilling, drilling, drilling. Okay, I did that tile. Well, may as well do these ones along this edge too. Because chances are I'll end up digging those out. Be funny after all this, those ramps over there are the ones full of gold. All the gold right there, wouldn't that be nice? Where do you think the gold would be? You don't know either. If you did, you would have told me, right? Well, that's why we're using the drill is to answer the questions of the universe, such as, 
Where's the gold? Gold. Maybe I won't show you this map. Yeah, I'll keep it for myself, and then I'll know where the gold. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'm too much of a blabbermouth to tell you anyway. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we'll uh, drill this last one. We're gonna have a look at the map and see how it looks. Oh, you know what? I need to go over and hit 136, and then we'll wrap up. How's that sound? That sounds great. Oops. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't do this where I'm sitting here now. I suppose I I should have just I could just pause it and then go and drill a whole bunch more. And that's just what I'm gonna do. All right. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to uh, drill a whole bunch more and then we'll have a look. Now I've drilled up to here this line that I'm on now. So everything to my um, well, be to my right now, including the the line I'm on, has been drilled. So let's have a look on the map, see what we've got. Okay, these are awful. And uh, let's see here. These ones are okay. These ones are okay. So, pretty disappointing. Well, let's see what kind of gold is in this. 300 ounces, 300 ounces. These are still, those two are better than anything I've seen, as far as I know. Under 300, 250. So, 136, that's the one that's... Um, okay, if you... Oh, neat. So if you zoom in a little further, you can see what the actual... Each dot, what you got out of that core sample. Oh, wow, I did 162 twice? Oh, I didn't even know... What? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't do those all twice. That one, that one, that one, that one. That makes no sense. Okay then. I I, I don't know why that did that, because I'm fairly certain I didn't drill twice. Losing my mind. Alright, so, and then right here on 136, it had... Uh, oh wow, so the actual core... This shows you how much gold you got out of the sample. No, that can't be right. I that doesn't mean I wasted 20 ounces because I drilled the thing out, does it? Well, I don't know. Anyway, so then you look at the let's zoom out and then look at this. All right, so 31. Hmm. That. I don't know what this means. Anyway, so that's just 10.3, and then if we go out here, okay, so this is 10.3. Rich spot part 60%. I don't know. So uh, there's the gold in this section. That makes no sense either. Why does that say? Minus 8, seven, or 0.87. Alright, well, there's most of the gold is in this section. So, what does this mean? It means... See, these are all low yields, but that's only because there's not a lot of dirt there, I think. Yeah, see, that's 5.5 meters. Well, that's... 120 is a good one to get. This one's only 2.5 meters. There's still 87 ounces. Okay, so... That's right in front of the wash plant. So this is my clean out area right here. And then right in front of it is a whole bunch of gold. Oh. Okay, so tile number 68, 365 ounces. Eesh. Okay, well, I would say this is where I need to dig next. Oh, it was so close. You don't know, though, until, I mean, you, you don't know until you run the dirt and check it, or else you do this. So my intention now is to drill out the rest of these before next episode. And then we'll next episode we'll have a look have a look at where the gold is. Hopefully we can find something better than what you're seeing here. And then we'll we'll be digging it out. Um I may be already processing this by then. I don't know, but I'm taking this corner. So let's have a look at that in in the real world, so to speak. Um can I get out and run over there? Yeah, sure. Okay, so that means this corner that I'm looking at over over yonder, all that dirt's got to go. It's good, good, good stuff. So if I go to this and then here, click. Um, okay, 93 is excellent. All right, so yeah, you can see... That's where I need to dig. I haven't scanned this yet. This might be good over here, or it might be awful. I won't know till I do it. Which is, uh, oh, 
it's nice to have that drill, to be honest. <laughs> to know where the gold actually is and know where to avoid. Okay, because um, before I had said, oh, I'm going to run all the dirt. Well, what stupid thing that was to say. You know how long it's going to take me to do all this on hard mode? <sighs> how many hoses would I break? And teeth, once I get that. I need to get that excavator and dump truck up and running in the conveyor. Ay, 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 there's so much to do, so much money, I need so much money, and hopefully this is going to be the key to getting that money more quickly. So, uh, we'll have a look. Right here is, this is the good stuff, right here, of course. If I just dug straight in here, I would hit the good go. Anyway, oh, so that's why, you see, I took a bit of this here. I bet you that's why when I went down through there, I hit a really good spot, and I think that 40 per or 40 ounces is in around here somewhere. It was in there somewhere, anyway. Okay, so next episode we'll have, we should have everything drilled, and I uh, may have already started digging by then. Um, it's too soon to tell until we see what the drill shows. So tune in next time, and you'll get to see the whole drill map. Now, how's that for saying there's a cliffhanger for you? Um, thanks again for your comments and um, and for the likes. I really appreciate that. You should hit like on this one too if you enjoy what you saw. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.